Adam Rayner and I are heading into the hills to see if we can't find us a, a moose. Looking for a bull moose. So uh, we've got seven days to do it, so with a bit of luck we'll, uh, we'll find us a good one. First morning out and uh, we've got some reasonable weather for it, so it's got to be a good thing. Our plan is we're going to head high get up above timber and, and uh, glass for moose, see if we can spot something worth going after. So we'll see what happens in the uh, next day or two. Well, there's a nice little bull down there. <clears throat> Not quite what we're looking for. Hoping to find something better than him. He's got three brow tines on each side, and he's probably 45, maybe 47 wide, so not quite long enough, wide enough. They have to have four brow tines on one side, or 50 inches wide to be legal. So we'll be uh, sitting up here looking for something a bit bigger. Certainly a nice start to the morning anyway. another nice bull. He's not quite up there, he's only got three brow tines and he doesn't have a hell of a lot for palms. Seeing lots of bulls but just haven't seen Mr. Wright yet. Hopefully he's just around this next corner. <laughs> that bull's starting to rut. He's got three cows there. He's actually even been doing a little bit of calling finally got some really nice weather. We've had crap weather for uh, about four days now. So hopefully they'll all come out of the woodwork this evening. Next year he'll be a real nice bull, nice tines, just a little too narrow. And we've been glassing over here, the weather's, weather forecast is supposed to be getting better, it's actually sort of sleety snow at the moment, but this afternoon the weather should be coming right. But uh, it's about 10.30 right now, and we've, we've just spotted a bull over there, um, it's probably about five, five and a half miles over there. Um, put the spotting scope on him and I can tell he's a really good bull, so we're about to put the move on him. It's gonna take us probably three, three and a half hours to get over there. But uh, hopefully by the time we get there, the weather will have cleared up a little bit, huh? I hope so. <laughs>
right behind the shoulder, just take your time. That's an awesome hunt, that man. Awesome. That, that was awesome. awesome. <laughs> that is a monster bull, buddy. He is, he is. You did a fantastic shot, man. Awesome. Great job, buddy. It's all in a gun, man. Thank you. Thank you. I made you work for it, didn't I? I could do it, man. I really did. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome hunt. It was a it was a good hunt, and we've got ourselves a tremendous bull here. I'm picking this bull as uh, around that 60, just a little over 60 inches. Got some really nice tines, nice paddles, just an all-round nice bull. And boy, is he a big body! Boy, he was the boss of uh, what appeared appeared to have had six cows. And there was a smaller bull hanging around. So uh, I believe we ruined his day. Yeah, got him eight hours. Awesome day. Awesome. The work. Well worth it. Well worth the work. <laughs> Good idea. I didn't think I could do it. This country's a little harder than it looks. It look, you look across the other side of the valley and it looks not too steep and not too brushy. And when you get over here, the brush is up, up around the chest and it's hard to find a spot to shoot. Mm. It's hard to spot these guys and it's really hard to walk around in it, but uh, you take your time and you can get there. What a beautiful ball. He's huge. He's humongous. Okay, it's the next day. We've made it back with, uh, with the horses and got everything loaded. It's taken us about an hour and a half to get everything loaded, but uh, we got her done and we're heading home. We're heading back to base camp. So. Here we go.